Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor of Mechanical Engineering and the Coordinator Teaching Learning Center, Fair College of Engineering, Trichy. This is the lecture in thermodynamics, the third semester subject. It is lecture number 8.5, the problems in properties of gaseous mixer. In the earlier lectures also, we solved the problems in the properties of gaseous mixer from the anionistry question paper. And this lecture, again, we solve two more problem uh, in mixing type of problem. The learning outcome to the lecture, at the end of the lecture, the student will be able to solve problems in properties of gaseous mixer. The first example, example number 7. This is the November 2016 question paper. A rigid tank that contains 2 kg of nitrogen at 25 degrees Celsius and 550 kilopascal is connected to another rigid tank that contains 4 kg of oxygen at 25 degrees Celsius and 150 kilopascal. The valve connecting the two tanks is open and the two gases are allowed to mix. If the final mixer temperature is 25 degrees Celsius, determine the volume of each tank and the final mixer pressure. So, write down the given data. After reading the problem, write down the given data. Mass of the O2, 4 kilogram. Pressure of the O2 is 150 kilopascal. Temperature of O2 is 25 degrees Celsius, which is 293 Kelvin. Mass of the nitrogen, 2 kilogram. Pressure of the nitrogen, 550 kilopascal. Temperature of the nitrogen, 25 degrees Celsius which is 293 Kelvin and T to the final temperature is also 20 degrees Celsius, 293 Kelvin. So, this is the arrangement. We have an oxygen tank at the pressure of 550 kilopascal, temperature 25 degrees Celsius and mass equal to 2 kilogram and we have an oxygen cylinder, oxygen tank of pressure 150 kilopascal, temperature 25 degrees Celsius and the mass equal to 4 kilogram. This valve is, when the valve is open, the two gases are allowed to mix and there will be diffusion and finally the temperature is 25 degree Celsius. So, the Gans constant of the gas constituent, we have to calculate the gas constant, gas constant for nitrogen, universal gas constant divided by the molecular weight, 8.314 divided by 28 equal to 0 0.297 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin and the gas constant for the oxygen, RU, universal gas constant divided by molecular weight. 8.314 divided by 32 equal to 0 0.26 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin. Then gas constant of the mixer, we calculate R for the mixer, MO2, RO2 plus MN2, RN2 divided by total mass of the mixer, which is 4 into 0 0.26 plus 2 into 0 0.297 divided by 6 equal to 0 0.272 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin. Then volume of the gas constituent, Volume from the partial volume equation, volume of O2 equal to mass R into temperature T1 divided by P1 of O2, 4 into 0 0.26 into 293 divided by 150 equal to 2.03 metric cube. And the volume of nitrogen in the tank, which is MR T1 divided by P1 of nitrogen. So, 2 into 0 0.297 into 293 divided by 550 equal to 0 0.32 metric cube. Total volume of the mixer total volume occupied by the mixer after mixing, so 2.03 plus 0 0.32 equal to 2.35 meter cube. Final pressure of the mixer, P equal to MR T2 divided by V2. So, the volume V2 we have calculated, T2 is given 293, R for the gas mixer, which is we calculated 0 0.272. So, mass into 0 0.272, 293 divided by 2.35 equal to 203.5 kilopascal. So, that is the answer to the problem. Then example number 8. So, this is from May 2015 question paper. A tank of 0.2 meter cube capacity contains O2 at 15 bar and 400 degrees Celsius. A second tank of 0 0.5 meter cube contains nitrogen at 20 bar and 300 degrees Celsius. The two tanks are connected together and allowed to mix. The heat loss during the mixing process is 50 kilojoules determine final pressure, final temperature of the mixer and net the entropy change due to mixing. So, these are all the given data. After reading the problem, we write down the given data. 
So, volume of O2 0.2 meter cube, pressure of O2 15 bar, temperature is 400 degrees Celsius, which is 673 Kelvin. Volume of N2 0.5 meter cube, pressure is 20 bar, Night temperature is 300 degrees Celsius, which is 573 Kelvin. We have to take the constant Cv for the nitrogen 0.743 kJ per kilogram Kelvin, Cv for oxygen 0.658 kJ per kilogram Kelvin, and universal gas constant 8.314. Molecular weight of nitrogen 28, molecular weight of oxygen which is 32. Now, this is the arrangement oxygen tank of volume 0 0.2 meter cube, pressure 15 bar, temperature 400 degrees Celsius. Nitrogen tank of volume 0 0.5 meter cube, pressure 20 bar, and temperature 300 degrees Celsius. We calculate the gas constants of the gas constituents. So, nitrogen RN2, RU by m n2 which is 8.314 divided by 28 equal to 0 0.297 kJ per kilogram kelvin r o2 which is r u by m o2 which is 8.314 divided by 32 equal to 0 0.26 kJ per kilogram kelvin then gas constant mass of the gas constituents individual gases mass of o2 equal to pv by rt of o2 1500 into 0 0.2 15 bar which is 1500 kilopascal into 0 0.2 divided by R value 0 0.26 into temperature is 673 which is 1.71 kilogram. Mass of nitrogen PV by RT of nitrogen 20 bar which is 2000 kilopascal into 0 0.5 divided by 0 0.297 into 573 equal to 5.87 kilogram. Then internal energy of the gaseous mixer before mixing. So, U1 equal to MCV T1 of O2 plus MCV T2 of N2. So, 1.71 into 0 0.658 into 673 plus 5.87 into 0 0.743 into 573 equal to 2256.3 kilojoules. Internal energy of the gaseous mixer after mixing. So, U2 equal to MCV O2 into T2 plus MCV of N2 into T2. So, temperature T2 is the unknown here. So, M is 1.72 for O2 into 0 0.658 plus T2 equal to 5.87 into 0 0.743 into T2 equal to 5.49 times of T2. The final temperature of the mixer using the energy balance for closed system. It is calculated using the energy balance U1 equal to U2 plus Q. There is a heat loss uh, during the mixing process. So, the U1 initial internal energy equal to final internal energy plus Q. So, 3256.3 equal to 5.49 times of T2 plus 50 kilojoules. So, solving this equation, we will get T2 equal to 584 Kelvin, which is 311 degree Celsius. The final temperature is 311 degree Celsius. The total volume of the mixer, V equal to 0 0.2 plus 0 0.5 equal to 0 0.7 meter cube. Now, we calculate the partial pressure of the gases after mixing. So, PO2 equal to MO2 RO2 T2 divided by V2, which is 1.71 into 0 0.26 into 584 divided by 0 0.7, which is 370.9 kilopascal. Plus partial pressure of nitrogen MN2 RN2 T2 divided by volume V2, final volume 5.87 into 0 0.297 into 584 divided by 0 0.7 equal to 1454.5 kilopascal. So, total pressure after mixing P2 equal to 370.9 plus 1454.5 which is equal to 1823.4 kilopascal. The specific heat at constant pressure of the gases CPO2 equal to RO2 plus CVO2 which is 0 0.26 plus 0 0.658 equal to 0 0.918 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin. CPN2 which is RN2 plus CVN2 equal to 0 0.297 plus 0 0.743 equal to 1.04 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin. Now, the change in entropy of the gas and the gaseous mixer. So, SO2 delta SO2 for oxygen gas, MO2 into CPO2 logarithmic of T2 by TO1 O2 minus RO2 logarithmic of T2 by P1 O2. So, substituting numerical values, one point mass of O2 is 1.71, Cp of O2 equal to 0 0.981, logarithmic of final temperature 584, initial temperature of oxygen is 673, 
minus 0 0.26 R of O2 0 0.26 into logarithmic of final pressure 372.6 divided by initial pressure 1500 kilopascal. So, calculating 1.7 into minus of 0 0.13 plus 0 0.36 is equal to 0 0.3933 kilojoules per Kelvin. Delta S of N to nitrogen, mass of nitrogen multiplied by Cp of nitrogen, logarithmic of T2, T2 by T1 of nitrogen minus R N to logarithmic of P2 by P1 of nitrogen. So, substitute numerical values, mass equal to 5.87 into 1.04 into logarithmic of 584 divided by 573 minus 0 0.297 into logarithmic of 1462.4 divided by 2000. So, delta S N2 equal to 5.87 into 0 0.02 plus 0 0.093, which is 0 0.6633 closures per Kelvin. So, the total entropy change of the gaseous mixer, delta S equal to 0, delta S O2 plus delta S N2 equal to 0 0.3933 plus 0 0.6633 equal to 1.056 closures per Kelvin. So, entropy change of the individual gases and the entropy change of the gaseous mixture, it is calculated. So, we stop here. Thank you for watching this video lecture. Please post your comments and if you have any queries, you can contact me. I will answer your question. We stop here for thermodynamics time being. If there is any additional topic, I will add in the video lecture. Until then, bye.